And thank you so much for joining us on Wave 3 Listens Live. Today we have a jam-packed show. Let's get to it. Primax True Home Value. Primax True Home Value is in the house, and they have another $25,000 to give away. George Jenkins is here. THV.com is the place to go. THV.com. If you go there, you may win $1,000 today during the next 30 minutes of this show. So make sure you go to THV.com. Now, we continue our very popular ongoing series with Dr. Eli Karam. Dr. Karam is a licensed marriage and family therapist, and today we're gonna focus on extended family difficulties. And when I say extended family, I'm talking about um, stepbrothers, stepsisters, uh, in-laws, uh, stepchildren. If you have any issues with extended family, give us a call now and talk to Dr. Karam, 571-5263. All right, before we go to the phones here, Dr. Karam, if you would, if folks are looking for a marriage or family therapist, yeah. how would they find someone who is a good fit? Yeah, all right. As we tell you every time on the show, a marriage and family therapist are going to see you in your whole interpersonal context, and they're going to see strength and health. So uh, you don't have to necessarily be in a relationship, but if you have something that affects you relationally, i.e. Uh, with a, somebody at work, someone at home, you can see a marriage and family therapist. The way you're going to do that is you can go to www.therapistlocator.net. And that is going to be our national clearinghouse for all the licensed marriage and family therapists, part of the American Association of Marriage and Family Therapy. And uh, we have about 400 uh, LMFTs, licensed marriage and family therapists, in Kentucky and part of our Kentucky Association of Marriage and Family Therapy, of which I represent, John. So you go in there, uh, you search for a therapist right on that red rectangle that says locate a therapist, and you will put your zip code in there, and that's going to give you a list of therapists. And then what you want to do is uh, look at their profiles. Many have a website, click on there, find a therapist that's gonna fit for you or you and your partner or you and your family, make a call, interview them. It should be about fit. Any um, LMFT should be able to give you five to 10 minutes of the phone um, so you can figure out a little about how they're oriented, what they believe, and what their experience meeting with them should be like. And as I said, marriage and family therapists are, uh, see a range of issues, uh, family issues, uh, mental health, uh, and more. And they also take many forms of insurance uh, so you can find the right fit for you. All right. This is reality television at its best. Okay. I'm looking forward to these phone calls because this is sensitive when we're talking about extended sure. family. Sure. And I'm sure it can get very complex. Let's talk to Derek, who is calling from right here in Louisville. Derek, welcome to the show. Good afternoon to you. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you're here to give me some guidance. All right. What's going on, Derek? Well, I'm uh, dealing with um, most people look at family in terms of the nuclear family. Okay. I'm in a situation where it's a hybrid family. Um, she has children from another marriage. I have children from another marriage. But the issue is trying to uh, set a standard with the children from another marriage if you know they need some things. How do you deal with that sort of challenge? Right. So uh, as, as we've talked about, uh, I think last time I was on, actually, we talked about kind of how to get together with your uh, uh, new spouse if you're in a blended family or a hybrid family, like you said. So one of the things you want to do is be very careful when you are the non-biological parent. Derek, you want to make sure that you meet with your partner behind the scenes, but let them uh, kind of lay out the rules uh, to the children, and you 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 kind of become the enforcer, uh, uh, or but you don't act like the heavy as far as the person making it. Right, right. And sometimes it is difficult when you have your own children, it sounds like, and your wife has hers, because you want, depending on the age level, developmentally where they're at, you want to have similar expectations probably for everybody in your house and that's really different uh, depending on what type of parenting style you had before and what type your spouse has so my uh, thing was the standards um, mm -hmm. my um, my boys will not have their pants sagging mm -hmm. um, their father's a little bit linear mm -hmm. and uh, then it's the the example of what is this older child you know you want to make them feel as if they're yours but you don't want the example to go off to the other children. And it's some things where it's, uh, when do you put your foot down? Right, and uh, do you feel like you have the support of your wife in this? Definitely, Good. definitely. The thing is, you have to deal with the, uh, the continuation of rebuttal from the ex-husband. Yes, and it, it does make it harder because when we think of a system and a, and a blended family, yeah, you have to deal with not only your, your new spouse, but uh, the person that's not there, and especially if they're spending half their time with this other parent and the rules in their house might be very different, that makes your kind of work harder. Uh, and especially there is no kind of love for the stepfather or the stepmother, if you will, in the sense that um, while you're not trying to replace the biological parent, um, you do want to build a relationship. You want to meet your uh, new stepchildren where they're at, but sometimes, Derek, 
Eric, as you said, it's, it's hard even if you have the right intentions if you feel like you're getting undermined from uh, uh, the other parent outside of the home. Would you recommend with Derek, as much as we'd like to get into this a little bit deeper, it's probably going to get rather personal, mm -hmm. would you recommend he get on that website yeah. and therapist locator? Right, and what you could do, Derek, a marriage and family therapist would work with you to kind of work behind the scenes, uh, meet with you and your wife uh, before probably bringing in the children. And then even, a uh, beautiful thing about working uh, with a marriage and family therapist can work with different parts. So it wouldn't even be unheard of to work with uh, your wife and her ex in order to kind of come up with some workable plan where everybody's on the same page. All right. Thank you for the call. Thank Diane is calling from Louisville. We're going to go straight to it. Diane, welcome to the show. You have Dr. Karam. Hi, Dr. Karam. This Hi, is Diane. Diane. How are you? I'm good. I have a question. I have a 34-year-old daughter that's been married to a doctor for 10 years now, and they have two children, uh, grade school. He, in the last five years, has been driving her away from me. Um, I have begged her to go to family counseling with me, even offered to pay for it. There's something wrong there, but he says she's too busy, and she's got her motherly duties. And I just figured it all out in the last several months. It's him. My daughter and I were very, very close, and I don't know what to do because I'm, I'm, she will not speaks me but once a week now and I don't get to see the children that often anymore either. Well I appreciate that call Diane. It is a difficult situation and no one ever wants to be uh, in your daughter's situation. No one ever wants to feel like they're being pulled between two people they love. Uh, their mother who represents their family they grew up in their family of origin and their, their new family that they created with their husband and, and sometimes it, it's very difficult especially when you feel like in this case your son-in-law uh, the doctor has kind of the one creating this boundary. Uh, when you ask your daughter about the reason for this distance when you used to be very close, uh, what does she tell you? She doesn't answer me. She just skirts the issue. It, uh, she wants to be able to spend time with her husband when he's home, not on call, and the children are active in, in grade school now. And But I was there a couple times a week you know, to see the kids or do something with her, and she called at least once a day. And over the last five years, it's it's gotten, and he doesn't speak to me directly. He speaks to me through the children. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing you could do is uh, acknowledge the, the tension and the idea that you're, uh, to your daughter, your relationship with your son-in-law is not what you want it to be, and that you understand that she is busy, she is a mom, she's trying to do what she needs to do, but you would like, um, as it fits into her schedule, you would like to be able to set up some structured time, and that way it gives you anticipation. And maybe it's not as frequently as you want right now, but it's, it's structured, it's set up either with you and her uh, or you and your grandchildren, and therefore you don't have to, uh, to be unreasonable, and you're making a clear expectation, and that should be something she should be able to honor, whether her husband has a good relationship with you or not. All right, Diane, thank you so much. Once again, we're going to remind everyone, because I think we've got lots more questions. Sadly, due to time restraints, we cannot get to them, but again, tell them about the therapist locator, yes. if you would, Doc. Uh, you can go to www.therapistlocator.net. Also go to www.kamft.org. That's the Kentucky Association for Marriage and Family Therapy, of which I represent. You're going to find a lot of good tips and helpful cues on there. And you can also watch all back segments of uh, uh, Dr. Eli on Wave 3 Listens. So uh, I appreciate that, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks, John. All right. And while we're going to break here, you've got time. THV.com. THV.com. You could win $1,000. So get on there right now. I'll be right back with George Jenkins of Primax True Home Value.